lockdown level three day eight feeling great feeling positive thanks feeling Skalke good, feeling positive drinking wine <laughs> quarantine wine <laughs> <Vanity. laughs> so many lanes <laughs> Good evening and welcome to uh, another time of quarantine, wine in the tuin, together with Elaine. Well, since we are now finally, well, for now we are allowed to buy wine online at the shop, so they can actually deliver the stuff. Phew. Thanks, Monday to Thursday, four days a week, yeah, thank you. It's better than no days a week. Yeah. Um, we are slowly but surely able to stock up the little cellar, again with a few little thingies, nothing much, because, uh, yeah. No, I say that is little now. Right? <laughs> it was big, it's not little. It's sad. Um, <laughs> it's not sad. It's an opportunity. Opportunity for growth. <laughs> so the wine in the glass today is the Bartini Chardonnay 2007. Now Bartini Wine Estate is, oh, you can almost call it, still a fairly newcomer on the wine scene. Um, up until 2010, I never heard of Bartini, although the way we know Bartini today, they've been going as far as I know since 2006, so it's fairly young on that end. It's owned by Rose and Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan, some of you will know from uh, being the CEO of FNB a few years back. Rose, not a banker, she was more architect, so she's more in charge of the design and the look of the farm today and the winemaker that they've employed is Renal Viet. Now Renal before that has also made wine for in the 90s for, for, for um, Boschendal which is further down the road as well as Hazendal. Oh well to get me back um, Bartini is actually situated in the beautiful Banuk Valley of Stellenbosch which is on the Simonsburg mountain and you basically drive the Helsworth Pass which is the road that once again connects Stellenbosch with Franschhoek. Which drives past Takara right? Past Takara indeed. Now, Chardonnay does really, really well up in that area. Even if you look at the neighbor, neighboring properties, Boschendal, Tukara, Thelema, all of them produce some exceptional Chardonnays from that mountain. And a lot of it's to do with the, the soils that they've got there. It's uh, a form of granite, which they call oak leaf and tukulu, which is derivatives of granite soils, which retains quite nice moisture, but also has a high acid and um, also gives the wine beautiful acid. Because Stellenbosch can get really warm and you can lose a lot of acid in those warm days. 2017, once again, a great vintage for white wine in Stellenbosch, um, purely because of the fact that the summers were a little bit cooler. We didn't really have those massive heat waves. We've just come from big drought. So it really helped to retain a bit of the moisture in the soil, that little bit we got. Um, and it was just fairly even, so it wasn't any big fluctuations in temperature, one day cool, one day hot, one day cool, one day hot. So you had a nice even ripening, which just gives you beautiful purity of fruit. Now the wine itself in the glass for me. Pears. Pears, the citrus, is a hint of lime, but it's not as, I almost want to say it's not as citrusy as a lot of other Chardonnays we've had. It's a little yeah. bit more on that yellow fruit, pear yes, side. Yeah. Um, could be to do with the vintage. But, I, but it's balanced, right? You get, it's very well balanced on the nose. I mean, you can smell all of that and not one thing overpowers the other. Yeah, no, there's a slight blossom perfume as well, almost like pear blossoms, you almost want to say. Yeah. Very delicate and, and delicious. On the palate as well, it carries through. It's still that beautiful succulent pear flavors that comes through. It has the acid of the, the citrus, just giving it a bit of shape. It's dry on the finish, but it doesn't have that, I almost want to say, sometimes you have taste that tannins almost of the grape skin, even in white wines as well. And the reason for that is they only use the free run juice. What is free they, run? So free run juice is basically when they put all the grapes in the press, that the weight of the grapes actually press the grapes and the first juice that runs off they use that even before oh, they press the grapes. Amazing. So it's a very, very soft extraction, less, almost want to say tannins from the skin or it's the like pips. It's a gravity extraction. Yes. Gravity right? and its own pressure, if you can put yes, it that but, way. Yeah, gravity causing pressure. That's very cool. That's very cool. So yeah, cool. a little bit more delicate. There are small producer focusing mostly Chardonnay and Cabernet. And I hope they carry on for a long time because um, Elaine and I is going to be very happy as 
long as there's Chardonnay coming from this. Now, Elaine asked me earlier, um, what would we eat with this? What would we eat with this? And he said he would love to eat my <laughs> cottage pie, my vegetarian cottage pie. Brownie points. With, <laughs> with sweet potato and a lot of beans. <laughs> but I think he was just buttering me up. Also, what I believe will work well is almost want to say lighter seafood dishes. Uh, like mussels, eh? Mussels steamed in white wine and yes, garlic. Yes. Keep it plain and simple. If you do like a bit of cream, a bit of cream will work. There's enough acidity in the wine to break it. Um, just not that flowery, fake margarine, yeah, not like overly stuff. buttery not that. cream. Good yeah. stuff. Fresh oysters over lunch would be great with this wine. And even a paella, something that can just stand up to the yes. acidity of the tomatoes and the spiciness of the chorizo. Yes. That'll be a great a Paella would be well. the best, actually. Well, guys, since we're still in lockdown, level three at least now, we can buy some wine. Please go and do. And if you're in the area, drive past Barton, you pop in, pick up a case of Chardonnay or any of the other wines they do. Their cabs support, are also fantastic. Support your wine folks, guys. Support your wine folks. Enjoy and drink the wines while we have them. Cheers. Stay safe. Cheers.